All of the art is by best artist and third animator Joltik Citeron. Welcome boys and girls to prehistoric time. We all know that a six mile wide asteroid slams into the northern tip of what is now the Yucatan Peninsula at the close of the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago. This catastrophic impact may have been a factor in the extinction of the dinosaurs, and scientists think that it tapped into Mars as well. But in today's episode we are- This is an extreme geomagnetic storm warning all broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit meaning about three species of theropods. Therosinosaurus. The word bizarre is often used to describe dinosaurs, but few of them were as strange as Therosinosaurus. It had the long neck, small head and tiny, leaf-shaped teeth of a sauropod. However, it wasn't a sauropod, it was a plant-eating theropod. This dinosaur had other strange features, including a broad pod and incredibly long finger claws. Most paleontologists believe Therosinosaurus was the reptilian analog of the giant, extinct, ground sloth and those huge claws were probably used to pull leafy branches close to its mouth. The first remains of Therosinosaurus were found in 1948 by a Mongolian field expedition at the Gobi Desert and later described by Evgeny Malib in 1954. Archaeopteryx Archaeopteryx was one of the earliest known birds, living among the dinosaurs of the Jurassic period about 150 million years ago. This small creature represents evolution caught in the act, having bird-like features, feathers, and reptilian traits, teeth and a bony tail. Benchmarks, September 30, 1861, Archaeopteryx is discovered and described. The Solnhofen limestone of southern Germany has a storied history. Cogopteryx do not listen to that they are lying. We are still alive. You can not kill us now. Oh, you are in the dead old black 